Good morning, everyone. I'm Diane. Welcome to Flexibility Class, where we will work on strengthening the musculature and getting you limber so that you can move for all those activities of daily living that seem to increase by the day. So let's get started. We're going to have a seat in the chair, feet flat on the floor, lift in the rib cage. Inhale, coming up. Now reach out of the ribs, stretch like an accordion, and exhale down. We're just getting some oxygen to those muscles. Inhale, and reach for the ceiling, and exhale. Inhale, and reach and exhale. Let's take the arm at a diagonal and lift, stretching the outer shoulder, and take it out to the side, and reach. Bring it across, diagonal, reach, and exhale as you stretch across to the other side. We're getting also some core there, and reach, and exhale, and down. Let's try that from the other side. Reach at a diagonal, stretch up. Reach out to the side, stretch, leaning toward that hand. Bring it across, and lift. Exhale, and reach and stretch across, lift, exhale, and reach. All right, let's take the neck area now. So we're going to turn to one side, turn to the other, bring the chin to the chest, Look up at the ceiling, stretching the neck. Ear to shoulder, stretch the side of the neck. Take it to the other side, stretching. Bring it center, look behind the shoulder. Bring it center and over to the other shoulder. And bring it down. Let's take the hands and arms out to the side. We're going to flex at the wrist and circle. Two, three, four. Now medium circles. One, two, three, four. Large circles. One, two, three, and four. Take it back, small circles. Medium level circles. Keep those wrists flexed and bring it up, in, and around. Up, in, and around. Up, in, and around. And up, in, and around. Let's drop the wrist, flex. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Take one arm back, follow it to the back, down, and around. This one is especially good to practice if you're driving and you need to look back this is a good one to help you do that. Because looking behind to see if any car is coming involves both the oblique muscle, the shoulder, and 
the half muscle. So lift, take it down and around. Lift, down and around. Lift, down and around. And lift, down and around. I can give you a good example of where you'll need that. Uh, coming off of 285, turning right onto Roswell Road, you've really got to crank your neck back over to the side to see other cars coming from that direction. So um, it's a good one to practice on a daily basis. All right, now we're going to make a little temple above the head. Feet are just slightly apart. And we're going to slide the ear to the inner elbow, slide back to the other side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now within this little temple, we're going to make a head circle. So push the chin forward, bring it to the side, pull the chin back. Bring it over to the other side and come forward, side, back, side, and center. Let's take that in the direction to the other side and point, chin, ear, neck back, ear to elbow, forward, and one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight. Let's just shrug the shoulders, lift, shrug down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now take the feet wide apart. We're going to slide down. I want you to keep the chin level, don't hang the head. We're just going to hang those shoulders and arms and hang them loose like a rag doll, waving them back and forth. All right, now we're going to make circles with them and reverse the circle. Front and back again. This time, reach, pull the stomach in, lift up. And exhale down. We're going to get some more stretch in the shoulder area and working down into the core area. So we're going to stretch the hand to the opposite leg, stretch past the foot, roll to the other side, come to the outside of the foot, lift to the side, inhale up, Exhale down, reach past the toe, roll through the center to the opposite outside foot, inhale up, and exhale down, reach past the toe, swing over to the outside of the foot, inhale up, and exhale down. Let's try that to the other side now. Lift, reach past the toe, swing over to the outside of the other foot, lift up center, and exhale down. Reach past the toe, swing over to the other side, inhale up, and over, and last one, reach, swing, lift, and down. All right, now we're going to pretend that we are sliding a glass door. We're very heavy, so we're going to take the palms out. We pull, sliding the door reach to the other side, and switch, other hand on the bottom, and pull over to the side, switch hands, bring that hand under, the other one on top, slide, really 
willy pulley. And slide. Now we're going to pull a rope. Pull in. Lift. Come behind the head. And center. And reach. Pull a rope in. Lift. And come down behind the head. And reach. Pull. Lift. Palms up. And come behind the head. Last one on the other side. And reach. Pull. Inhale up. Exhale down. Now we're going to do some helicopter arms or a lasso arm, whichever way you prefer to think about it. But we're going to start with the arm to the side. It's going to come front, take it around the head, and circle one and two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's try that on the other side. Now, if you are having difficulty coming behind the head, just take it forward, circle in front. And that's acceptable too. It will get the shoulder some, not as much as the other way, but protect yourself at all times. And out, come around, bring it back behind the head, and keep circling. Two, we're also getting four here, three, Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, both arms, we take it around, take it back, and around, back. Three and four. Let's reverse the direction. Five, six, modification. Seven, eight. And roll up, back, down, and around. And these are so good to prevent kyphosis, where the shoulders come forward, the neck hangs down. This will help keep you lifted with shoulders pulled back. Come forward and down. Two and three and four. Let's crisscross at the wrist, going all the way up to the top, coming back down. And one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. Two, three, four, five, six, last up, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take one arm in front, take the other hand underneath, stretch the arm across the body, wiggle those fingers, make a fist, and a circle. Two, three, four. Reverse. One, two, three, and four. Other arm in front, hand underneath, swing it across the body. Wiggle the fingers, make a fist, circle one, 
two, three, four, reverse, one, two, three, and four. Okay, so that got upper neck and shoulder, chest, some core area also. So now we'll concentrate a little more on strengthening that core and getting the spine flexible. So we're going to stand and we're going to come in, contract and lift and stretch out and back and contract and lift and back and contract, lift and back and contract, lift and back. We'll stand, inhale up, take the arm and body over to the side, and now we're going to pulse, flex at the wrist, push, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale up, scoop down, and lift up and back to center. Let's do that two more times. Inhale up, bend to the side as you exhale, flex the wrist, push, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bend, scoop down and around and up. Last time, take it over, flex the Wrist, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Scoop and lift and down. Now we can do the same thing from the seated position. So we'll lift, bend over, and push, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, scoop down, lift up, and over, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, scoop down and around and up, last one, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, scoop, lift back to center. Let's just do a nice inhalation and exhale. Remember to drink water throughout your exercise class to keep hydrated. Uh, rule of thumb is you should drink 16 ounces of water prior to each class. All right, so now uh, let's work on the lower stomach. So we're going to scooch forward in the chair. We lift one leg, and we're just going to take the hands behind the head, a little bit different today. We're going to point the toe out in front, lift and in, and two, lift and in, three, and four. Stretch that leg out, touch the toe, bring it in, five, six. Seven and eight and down. That also got hip flexor muscle. Other leg, lift, stretch, exhale, shh. Bring it back into the body, bending the knee. And two. Three. Four, 
five, six, seven, and eight. And down. Now this time we're going to touch the heel to the floor. So we lift, touch heel, bring it back in, almost like a bicycle move. And touch the heel, bring it in, and lift. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. And down. Other side, lift, bicycle out, press the heel to the floor, bring it in, and circle. Number two, three, four, five, six. Seven and eight. And hands on the arms or on the chair seat and pull up using the stomach muscles. Come back to center. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, let's now. Move one leg up. When that one comes down, lift the other one up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Both legs up. Hold two, three, four. Release. Let's do that set again. Lift. Lift. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lift and hold. Two, three, four. Release. All right, let's stretch the hamstring now that runs behind the leg. So we're going to come forward in the seat. Heel to the floor. Toe up. And you're going to bend from the waist and stretch past the foot and hold. And now we're going to take that foot over to the inside, touch, lift, take it over to the other side, touch and lift, touch, lift. Kind of like windshield wipers. So we're getting outside leg and inside thigh. And back to center. Let's try the other leg. Heel to floor, toe up. And reach past the toe, feeling the stretch behind the leg. Bring it up. Now turn the toe down to the floor in an inward position. Lift, take it back out and touch the floor. So it's like windshield wipers. And forward and back. This will also help knees. bring it center. Now we're going to lift and we're going to work down into the quadricep area, these large muscles in the thighs. So we're going to spread the feet. We're going to bend forward. Now lift and three pulses. One, two, three, and straighten up. Number two, two, three, 
straighten. Make sure those hips are pushed to the back wall so that the knees don't come forward of the toes. Five. Six. Seven. Now number eight, we're gonna pull off two, three, and sit back down. And bring the feet into the center. We're gonna extend one leg. Bend the knee in and kick. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Other foot. One, two, three. That foot is flexed as you kick. Five, six, seven, and eight. And down. Nice inhalation in and exhale down. Let's stand. We're going to come to the side of the chair now and work those legs and hip areas some more. So we're going to come in front. You can place one hand on the waist or leave it out to the side. Hand will be on the chair arm or on the back of the top of the chair. Little lifts. Two, don't put the foot down. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Diagonal, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, side lift, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and center. If you absolutely need to put the toe down, that's fine. All right, we're gonna come over to the other side. Same thing, try not to put the foot down because you want that quad to get as much strength as possible but if you're not there yet, you lift and point with the toe down. Ready? Check your posture. Lift, arm out, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Diagonal, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Toe to the side, lift, two, these don't have to be high, four, five, six, seven, eight, and bring it center. Let's just stretch down in the opposite direction. Again, stretching those hamstrings, hang loose, bend the knees and roll up. All right, let's now move over into the glute area. So you're going to stand behind the chair. Take one leg to the back, and we're just going to do little lifts up. Again, the leg does not have to come high. Uh, I want to caution you, if any of you have uh, a bad sciatica problems, uh, keep the leg very low like so. You don't need to really come up too high to aggravate that nerve that runs through the buttocks. All right, so for the rest of you, we face forward, we lift, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other leg, take it back. Again, those of you with sciatica problems, keep it Barely off the floor when you lift. Otherwise, lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now just turn sideways. We're going to place the feet far apart, 10 and 2 position. 
We're going to do a demi plie, which is a small plie, not a huge one. Okay, so demi plie. Now, on the way up, you are going to squeeze those buttocks muscles, and we're going to pulse with it. Squeeze, one, squeeze, two, squeeze, three, squeeze, four, squeeze, five, squeeze, six, squeeze, seven, squeeze, eight. Very good. All right, now let's do another set. Then we take the leg back. We lift, keep those hips level. Don't lift the hip like that. Just lift as far as the leg will allow you to do it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other side. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Face sideways, feet 10 and 2 position. Little past hip width. Ready for our squeezes and demi plie. Squeeze, 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 release. Four, release, squeeze, and six, and seven, and eight. Very good. All right, let's just bend over again. And stretch the arm out and take it up and out to the side and down. All right, so now we're going to work those calf muscles. So we're going to keep the feet straight ahead and lift and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now let's lift and hold to three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release heels down to the floor. Now heels together, toes out 10 and two position. We'll get the inside calf now and lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now hold two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release. Toes inward to get the outside calves and Lift, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. And let's just flex those ankles a little by heel, step, heel, step. Heel, step, heel, and five, and six, seven, eight. Lift the leg, circle, stir the pot with the toe, not the leg. Reverse the circle. And down. Other leg up. Use only the toe to circle. Two. Three, four, reverse, one, two, three, and four. And another thing I would like to mention to you, when you are doing things like that, circles with the ankles or uh, with the wrist, go slowly. I, I see people like they're, you know, grinding something or, or stirring something around. That's not really getting that muscle. Uh, you have to go slowly at times to really hit all of that muscle area, front, back, and around. So go slowly. There's no rush. All right, so now we're coming to our mat portion of the class. So I'll give you time to spread your mats out, have a drink of water,
All right, let's bend forward. We're going to come down into all hands and knees position on all fours. We roll down, we bend the knees, we reach for the floor, come forward onto the knees, and come up, hands and knees, release the toes. Now we're going to do something with the toes here. I know that it's painful for a lot of you to sit back on top of the arches to stretch those arches. So let's just try this. We're going to come onto the toe, press the toe into the mat. So you're lifting the heel, toe is in the mat. Now release it and the arch is facing the mat. Now lift again, other foot. Squeeze the toe into the mat. Release, put the arch onto the mat. Squeeze the toe, push it down, and release, and push the toe into the mat, and release. Two more times, press into the mat with the toe, and release, and press, and release. Now, for those of you that can, you're just going to sit back in the child pose and stretch the arms out. And come back up. Let's work those tricep muscles. Bring the elbows to the floor. Lift them up. And again, you want to go slowly with these, and then we're going to do some pulses. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, now we're going to pulse. So don't touch the elbow to the floor. Just come part way with it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to come onto the stomach. Stretch the legs out. And bring the hands by the shoulders. And we're going to come up into modified cobra. Chin up. And pull back and come onto the side. We're going to turn, sitting, eight counts all the way down to the mat, or as many as you can get. You can use the hands behind here to come all the way down, or for those more advanced, hands forward. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do a full body stretch. Flex the feet, push down with the heels, stretch up with the arms. And now we'll do snow angel. And I know a lot of you can't do that shoulder wise, so just Stretch as much as you can to the side and back without coming above the head. For those of you that can, we're going to come up and snow angel down. Two. Three. Feet flat on the mat. Take one foot over the knee of the other. Turn this knee out. We're going to pulse down, pressing on the inner thigh. 
and pulse two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, if you can, if you're able to lift the bottom leg and bring the top leg into the chest for a huge stretch in that hip area and IT band, and bring it back down. All right, with that foot on the mat, bring the other foot ankle over the knee, open up to the side with the leg, place the hands on the inner thigh, and pulse down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lift the bottom leg or eliminate this one and bring the top leg into the chest. Oh my goodness, that's one of those ones that hurts so good. All right. And bring the leg down, release the foot, arms out to the sides, keep the shoulders onto the mat. We're going to stretch the lower back. Bring the knees over to the side, keeping the shoulders on the mat. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three. Lift into center. Drop to the other side, keep the shoulders on the mat. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three. Bring it back up to center. Let's do that two more times. And drop the knees to one side. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three. Bring the knees up. Last time, over to the other side. And inhale, one, two, three, exhale, one, two, three, bring the knees up to center, we're going to take the hand under one thigh, we're going to stretch the leg up, now for a bigger stretch underneath the hamstring area, flex the foot, you may only be able to do that just a little bit. Now, you can take the hands under the calf, and you're going to pulse the foot toward the forehead. Eliminate this if you, if you feel stretched enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a very small move. And place the leg onto the mat. Hands under the other leg. Stretch up. For more of a stretch, flex the foot or not. Take the hands under the calf. Pull the foot toward the forehead in small pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I always enjoy watching pro dancers work out because uh, they are able to get this foot past the head and down. Uh, most of us don't have musculature that are meant for that, uh, but it is fun to watch others that do. All right, now we're going to roll to the side and come up. All right, we're going to stretch the legs out into a comfortable V. This is another thing. Some people can get those legs totally out to the side. That's the way they're cut in the hip flexor area. Most of us are, you know, somewhere between here and here even. So whatever is comfortable for you. We're going to turn toward one leg. The feet are flexed, toes up, and you're going to stretch down that leg. Now try to keep this buttocks cheek on the mat. When you feel it lifting, stop. So we're going to slide, grab the ankle, 
and just hold that stretch. And slide back up. And now try to touch the chest to the thigh. And bring it back up center. And I am very, always have been very inflexible in this area. But these types of stretches do help you whether you are flexible or not. Um, it does keep those muscles long and lean which is what we want. We want them stretched out so that they don't draw up on us and shorten our moves. Other side, turn to the thigh. Now keep this cheek on the floor. Slide only as far as you can go, keeping that cheek down. Reach for the ankle, hold the stretch. Slide back up and try to touch the chest to the thigh. Bring it up, and we're gonna take one leg over the other. Take this arm, wrap it around the knee, and turn, lift in the torso, pull the stomach in, and bring it around front, release that leg, Take the other one over, grab it around, nice and tight into the chest, twist. And release. All right, now we're gonna bring the soles of the feet together. So if you push outward, that's going to give you a little more flexibility to bend forward. For those of you that really want a huge stretch, you bring the heels in and then bend over. I prefer taking them out a bit and bending and stretching past the toes. You want a comfortable stretch. You want to feel that you're stretching, but you don't want any pain. And bring it back in. And now we'll cross at the ankles. This is going to get the outside, that TI band. Move into the heels of the feet. And just bend forward and hold the stretch. Walk it back into center. Inhale up. Exhale down. Now we're going to roll over onto all fours again. We're going to take one foot forward, place a hand there. You're going to curl the back toe and lift and bring the foot in. Inhale up. Take one hand over the wrist, place the foot out to the side. Stretch the body over to the side. Inhale up. And take it over to the side. Inhale up. Stretch forward. Pull up. And bring those arms up in the back as you bend forward. Inhale up. Feet together, hands together, and Om Shanti. Thank you for joining me today, everyone. Uh, join us at 1045 this morning for TheraBand. Have a great day.